All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Let's Play Splatoon. I'm your host and player, Jimmy, with the Games Blog. Uh, and what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be going through the single player campaign for. Okay. Well, that was weird. Hopefully, that won't happen again. Maybe I'll just ask Sheldon about the deeds. bizarre possible method they could have picked for giving out new information about the online matches. Just having literal idols. Alright, so this is Splatoon, for those of you who haven't played. Um, it's sort of like a, just a hub area, sort of like just the general Miiverse. I'm controlling it with the gamepad, so when I tilt it up and down, that's how it goes. You can switch it over to the sticks. But I've found that this is a bit more precise, so I kind of like it. Um, so, just to kind of give a brief introduction, in case you're not familiar with it. If you go into here, this is where all the online rank stuff is. or Well, not just the rank, but also just all of it. And as you can see, there's plenty of people who have Miiverse posts that pop up, similarly to the Miiverse itself. And a lot of them have drawings, and a lot of them are pretty cool. So, it's pretty sweet. But, in order to do single player, come over here to this sketchy looking guy hanging out in the manhole. And from here on out, I have no idea. Okay. The Octarians are coming. No! Oh, uh, hi. I guess I lost my cool for a minute there. I'm Captain Cullfish, leader of the legendary Squidbeak Splatoon. That look in your eye, it's the look I've been waiting for. The great Zapfish that powers Inkopolis has been squidnapped. I'm gonna wonder how many squid related puns they're going to put into this. Nobody believes me, but it's the work of the Octarians. I just know it. They want revenge for the Great Turf War of a hundred years ago. I've been keeping an eye on this whole time, of course. But they stole the Great Zapfish right out from under my nose. Please, you gotta help me rescue the Great Zapfish. Ellipses. More ellipses. So, I'm gonna take your silence as a yes. Bastard. Starting today, you are Agent 3 of the new Squid, Bleak, Squid Beak Splatoon. Shoot ink to reveal the entrances to the Octarian Lair. So again, um, with the shoulder buttons, you can um, fire your normal ink. By um, hitting the left shoulder button, you can turn into your octopus form. And if you're on land, you're slow and pathetic. But when you get into the um, when you get into the ink, you go very quickly and you recharge your ink much faster. Um, right, the um, right bumper throws a grenade. The left bumper doesn't really do anything at this point for some single player. So, Octo Trooper hideout, catch that sad fish. relatively easily because I've played quite a bit of the multiplayer, but we'll see. So, oh shit. There we go. I don't really 
know what the orbs are, but they're probably for the upgrades of some sort. Now what's nice about the, what's kind of neat about Splatoon in general is that um, any surface that you're on can be turned into something you can climb up. So that includes the walls, floors, and everything. So it's very easy to maneuver yourself around and put you into more advantageous positions. Now that type of um, jumping and swimming around as the inks, as the inklings, or the squids, or the, uh, yeah, in your squid form, is just a lot of fun, especially in multiplayer, when you can use it to sort of get the drop on enemies. But it really does require you to think very outside the box. the first little mission, I guess, in Splatoon single player. Since time immemorial, a rare type of electric catfish, known as a zapfish, has been prized by Inkling society as a source of energy. In fact, the entire city of Inkopolis is powered by a single 100-year-old great zapfish. Alrighty. So, on to the next one. to learn how to use um, going up walls function of 
and that was a pretty neat little thing. I wish they had some of those in um, in the multiplayer matches, just to add a little bit of chaos. platforms for no particular reason other than to have floating land masses. Alright. What's next? Ah. Interesting. So they clean up so if I were to go into ink form right now, I would fall through this mesh, so I don't want to do that. Technique that will be familiar to anyone who's played the multiplayer. Stand really high up and shoot ink down on people who are lower than you. Very powerful. Let's see. Oh, okay. This looks fun. Oh, that's awesome. Balls. Nothing that you could misconstrue from that one. Alright, next one. And I like one of the things that's kind of neat, and it, it bothered me at first. 
but once you get used to it, it's kind of nice. Is um, they don't they don't set you a um, or they don't give you a set color from the start, and you can't pick your color. You're sort of whatever color ink you happen to be spraying around, which is kind of a neat touch. In order to cross gaps that you otherwise wouldn't be able to, you need to, um... Yeah, there you go. Just practice the swimming jumps. special weapons, and it's actually probably one of the most basic ones in the game. Um, it gives you basically a giant bazooka. And it basically makes these tornadoes of pain. I've never really been very good with them, but there's a lot of people online who are just amazing. missed it on the first level, or on that second level. And if you get stuck in someone else's colored ink, it significantly slows you down, even more so than you are just on normal ground. that the armor is actually a cosmetic thing that you can see in the level. It seems to be an Octarian assault vehicle, but it doesn't appear to have an engine. The big question then, how does it move? It's frighteningly clear that the source of Octarian power lies outside the realm of established science. Established squid science, that is. Sorry, that was overly dramatic. Alright, so we've unlocked this giant pressure cooker. So let's see, what, what can we upgrade? Uh, tank capacity, blast radius. I really do like Seekers. Um, but for now, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to wait until I can upgrade my firing capacity. 
This looks like a boss fight. Squish, squash, smash, something. I missed it. Sorry. human life underneath. It's kind of amusing. Tiles, you have to actually try. There we go. Interesting. And in true Nintendo fashion, it looks like it is adhering very closely to the. Oh shit! That totally got me. Whoops. Smash the mighty Octo Stamp. Done and done. Avat, they have the great Octo weapons on their side. At any rate, good work, Agent 3. Keep it up. It's a long road to the great Zapfish. I'm giving him an accent. Sorry. Anti Octopus Weapon Blueprints. Designer. Amosis Shellen Shellendorf? Sure, why not? Ammonites. Booyah base, first level, Inkopolis 11 1. Thought of that ahead of time. Alright, here we go. 